Nick here and today we're gonna be unboxing one of the highest rating games in Board Game Geek which is Terraforming Mars. It's been that case for a few years and we tried this game once with a friend and it was really fun to play so we decided to buy it and then at the end I'm gonna be giving the first impressions of my first two play sessions okay uh, don't forget also to like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video the box artwork is pretty cool some nice scenery of Mars so let's start by opening the box Terraforming Mars is a medium complexity game that can be played from 1 to 5 players and has an average play time of 3 hours and maybe a little bit more like around 4 hours if it's your first time playing the game. You play as one of the corporations hired by the world government to make Mars habitable. So as soon as we open we, we can see some some of the cubes I guess you use for a production. This small cube represents copper and it's uh, one, it counts as one credit in the game. Then we have another package full of cubes. So here we have gold cubes which count as 10 credits in the game. There are less gold cubes than copper cubes as you can see here. And then we have also the silver cubes, which count as five credits in the game. So these are the three resources you're going to be using in the game to build projects. And the other bags, they contain player markers. So you have five colors, yellow, blue, black, green, and red. And we have three white cubes. They are used as markers for oxygen, temperature, and generation. Then here we have five, uh, I believe those are the player boards. Yeah, so those are the player boards. Doesn't seem very high quality though. They're very fragile. See, it's just a piece of paper. It's not even like a card, like, like a cardboard or something. Then we have here some extra plastic bags so we can pack the components. And here we have the first pack of cards. These are all project cards. I think there is like 300 or something of them. And if you want to sleeve the cards, you should be using 63.5 by 88. Then we have the corporations, the corporation cards. There are lots of them. So I guess you can you can really like vary for which comp which corporation do you want to uh, represent, and then use their different advantages. Some beginning beginner corporation cards and then here we have okay I think those are rules yes yeah, so we have some cards for for general rules and then some cards which are just like to basically uh, hype you to buy the expansions so you have Hellas and Elysium Venus next uh, terraforming Mars prelude uh, colonies and turmoil so we have more project cards and yeah goes all the way to the end and then we have some like propaganda cards at the, at, the, at the end then here we have the manual which I'm gonna read after but artwork is cool and then here we have the game board the map is pretty nice you have Mars in the middle the scoring is around the board the oxygen meter is at center top of the board. You can also see the blue tiles where, where the oceans go. And you have also the milestones and awards at the bottom. And finally, the temperature marker is on the right side of the board. Here we have some punch board with the tiles of what you, uh, what you build on Mars. Let's start by removing these ones, which I believe to be the pro some projects that you can build on Mars. So yeah, you place those tiles on the board once you build the projects related to them. 
these are the ocean tiles and basically as you restore the oceans on Mars you place those tokens on the slots that are marked with water on the board. And on the second punch board it's pretty much the same thing so you have the green tiles on one side and then you have the city tiles on the other side. The green tiles are called greenery in the game and basically they are used to increase oxygen and also to gain points at the end of the game. The idea is you're going to be using the resources to build greenery and other projects in, the, in Mars and basically at the end you transform Mars from a, from a desert into a beautiful terraformed world. And before we go for my first impressions, let's have a look at the manual. Uh, the manual is well written, like it's easy to understand the rules and if you have questions like they are answered in the manual, but I find it's too much textual, there's too much text and not enough images or like correlation between different images and text, you know. So now we're gonna go for our first impressions of the game. I played it twice with my wife and it was really fun to play. Uh, I think in general the game, uh, what, what really makes it fun is that every time you play it feels different. The fact that you have uh, like more than 200 cards in the game and you can build the projects like every time you play you're gonna draw different cards and then you start building kind of an engine where you, you're, you're good at one type of resource and then you start building more and more and more of that same resource and then you become like very good at doing that type of thing and then converting into other resources and so on. So it was really fun to play and, and uh, we tried with the, um, with the beginner corporations and now we're going to start trying the, the other corporations which kind of give you initial bonuses and, and bonuses throughout the play which are fun and makes each gameplay completely different. This game is, was also recently on Kickstarter. They did a campaign in order to do a big box because as you can see some of the components they are not like super top quality. So they are doing a campaign basically to do a big box. Uh, where you have uh, 3D models for each one of the tiles and they're adding also like a big box with an insert because as you guys can see the box has no insert at all. I backed it and then as soon as we have the, the big box then I'm gonna be doing an unboxing for you guys as well and putting all the components inside. Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe so you can keep supporting me on doing board game videos, how to play videos and my new series which you should check it out which is the game design explained which basically I analyze game uh, video games uh, explaining how the mechanics work so thank you guys very much and see you guys next time